This is actually Kilo's project we're doing. It's going to be like a chandelier in his house. We got this old wagon wheel. Uh, it's it's all wood except the tire and a few bands to hold it together. We're going to hang these, suspend these jars from that. Five of them. There's ten spokes. And we're going to do five. It'll work out and look aesthetically pleasing. We're going to suspend these jars from them. They'll have a light. Uh, kilos put some holes in the top. These are only 60 watts, so we should be okay on heat. We got these cool, kind of old school looking bulbs to go in it. And these are just mason jars. And we've got standard fixtures here. What we'll do is we'll, these will actually hang from the wire. We got this old school looking wire here braided and it'll be strong enough to actually suspend these these jars don't weigh a whole lot. We're gonna go in our junk pile outside and hopefully we can find a piece of rusty chain to hang this from and from <clears throat> we got this lamp cord this is 16 gauge this is 18 gauge wire here but it'll only be it'll be running up to this uh, 16 gauge wire 16 gauge wire these will all be paralleled together the 16 gauge will carry the brunt of the amperage, which I figured this to only be about 3 amps anyway, so we're well within tolerance for 16 gauge wire. And this will go, this will wrap through, this is brown, this will wrap through the rusty chain up to the ceiling and kind of stay hidden. Feed this through and we'll, we'll have to feed it through here and then tie a knot where it'll hold it. And then attach it to her. Um, one thing to notice with most all electrical fixtures and plugs, of course, on your polarized plug, the wide terminal is going to be your white wire, your neutral. But if you look at these, your neutral is the outside of this Edison screw on a light bulb, and most most of the time, it's the silver screw not the brass one it's the silver sometimes you'll see two brass on here but if it's got a silver one I've never seen it's not the neutral side of the circuit uh, always double check but that usually always holds true I think that's actually electrical code now we're just gonna start wiring this stuff up and we'll bring you back when we get a little more done alright so this thing is gonna be the top that attaches and it's a new piece but we want it to look old so you notice it looks kind of weird right now look at that it's rust now, what I've done is I painted this thing and it's a little wet That's I'll tell you why it's a little wet in a minute too. Uh, I've painted this thing with a primer, a ruddy red, rusty looking primer. And while the primer was wet, I sprinkled salt on this. I let it dry. And then I painted over this with a, a black. And what we're doing right now, and right it's wet as the salt had pulled a little moisture. What we're doing now is just knocking the salt off. And that ruddy red is showing through. Just getting all that salt off. Try not to rub too hard. You can see we got a little bit of reflection there, but we're going to go over this with a slight spray of a different kind of brownish color anyway. But you see, we have kind of an old rusty look. To that now and it's a salt trick it's actually a trick that scale modelers use when they're painting tanks and war gamers use it when they're painting their miniatures to get a rusty effect we've got we drilled five holes this as I said before there's ten spokes in this wagon wheel and there's five pieces around the perimeter so it, it worked out really good we were able to drill our hole right in the middle of each one of these and space them out got one light done just to see what it looks like and 
We've got it suspended by the wire, but these aren't very heavy. And we've got it sitting on our nice antique fire extinguisher stand, which worked pretty good just to kind of hold this thing for the time being. Um, there's a knot tied in this wire in there to keep it from pulling through. And there's one on top also. This will be fine for this wire and the weight. And that's one. We're just going to, we got to do four more like that and get them on. Then we'll start wiring this and, well, we're going to hope we can find some rusty chain too in our junk pile outside. I just have to save it here. Oh, I volunteered that. like we want it. Yep. That's the real deal there. Rusty chain. This girl has an okay, man. Well, nobody died. That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> 